Lego train for the second part of the Lego train tutorial, for, of the Lego train station tutorial. So I have done a train in the past few videos for the, my second video, but this is a rather different city train. So it does have opening doors actually, so it looks like this from the front and back. I made the front and back uh, the same so that it looks more like a train. And if you pull on these hand rings here, you can open, you can actually open these doors to get access to the train. I haven't put anything inside, no seats or no minifigures. If you if you want to put seats or minifigures, you can uh, it's definitely up to you and then you can put them if you want. So I'm just gonna uh, go over and get the uh, Okay, so this is the train station, and here's the train. Okay, so the train station front is here, and the platform is here. So just that the train runs in right to here. Just one direction. Runs in right here, opens the doors, and then the people get on. Yes, so that's how the train station works with the train. Now, without further ado, let's begin. And let me, I'm going to show you now how to build this Lego train. To start off with this build, you're going to need these uh, crates. I have a 6x6 six six crate, 6x8 six crate, 6x4 six crate, and a 6x6 six six crate. Okay. I mean, sorry, not a 6x6, six six, a 2x6. Six, attach them all with these wheels, with wheels. Okay, so first I'm gonna take this piece, a two by two piece with the wheel, a hole thingy on the end. Then two of these wheels, and just twist them around the gym. And then a two by two brick. Okay, so I'm gonna take that. I have three more of these uh, assemblies, and then I'm just gonna place them one stud off assemblies for this uh, train. Okay. So first you're going to need this 2x3 two, two slope, and then another 2x3 slope, and there are inverted slopes, don't forget that part, and a 2x2 two two inverted slope, another 2x2 two two inverted slope, a 1x4 brick, and a 1x2 brick. Okay, so now that I have stuck a transparent stud on top of it. Uh, it's like this. Stick it right here. And then take another one and stick it on. And take a one by four brick here. And two one by one bricks. Just behind that. Okay, so part of your assembly is almost done now. Okay. Next you're going to need a uh, transparent piece. Two by two, this one by two slope, and place it three onto here like that. 
and this uh, this piece, and there's uh, another one of those in there too, so that's uh, Rayburg Time, and put it here. Now we're just gonna, these two pieces, parts here that are sticking out, uh, are actually supposed to attach to here, that the frame is attached out. I have another frame ready as well, and I'm just gonna place that. happen when you're actually building the train a few times so that's why I'm gonna start building without it because whenever you add these parts they sort of I just uh, get their weight I'm just gonna take this um, assembly out of here. I just stacked four layers of bricks to six studs wide, and then these two uh, one by six plates right on the bottom. this uh, one by six brick. Now this really uh, makes the entire build sturdy. A one by two brick and a one by three brick right here. Then a window piece right here. Then this. I have, I'm going to stack these two one by one bricks and just make this a little gap between the windows. Continue this pattern until you get to the end. the final product of the other side of the wall right here. 
I'm not going to show you how to build it because it uses the same technique that I just did here. One layer of bricks and this window layer with the uh, two, two one by one bricks stacked pattern. And then another layer of bricks on top. The only difference is I have this uh, uh, two plate layers added on top of that. So we're just going to stick it onto the side of the train. If it's more comfortable for you, you might want to take off this part actually. two by two brick, two by two slope, sorry, 
place it right at this end, and a one by two spoke. Okay, so that is your entire train almost ready. I'm just going to take a bunch of these plates now and show you that I have this uh, top part of here. Okay, so I'm just going to place this uh, two by six plate on the top here. Okay, then these two one by eight plates, I mean two by eight plates, sorry, right off the side. Bye.